Hello everyone, welcome to yet another video for Brizzy Maldos. Today we are going to improve the performance of this laptop. This was having a SATA drive and we are going to change this to a SSD SATA. Uh, we'll first show you what was the current performance for this laptop and then uh, we'll show you how the performance improved after changing it to a SSD SATA drive. So this we have switched the laptop on and it took quite a bit of a time to boot it up. Um, that was the main reason that we are changing the hard disk to a SSD SATA. Uh, so never throw your lap old laptops. All you have to do is change the hard disk to SSD. Okay, now it's gonna up. So it takes quite a bit of time to now load the profile. That's really you know inconvenient for someone who's who wants to work on the laptop really fast. So that was the main reason that we're changing. I had to move all my files to a different hard disk, external hard disk. Um, now we'll try and change the hard disk to an SSD. Let's do it. So remove the battery and then just remove all these screws from this laptop just make sure that you have unscrewed every screw using the right screwdriver once you have removed all the screws you have to remove the front panel so what you have to do is slide this into these covers and then slowly pull it out So now we have opened the back cover and what we are trying to do is change this hard disk. Remove all the screws. and then just take it out remove the clamps you have to remove those screws That's the panel, you have to fit that back, so you have to remove the screws. So this is the new SATA SSD hard disk that we bought from UMOD. And this was 39 Australian dollars. Uh, it was pretty easy. Uh, we got it delivered uh, in just a day's time. We had to get it collect We had to collect it from the UMOD, nearby U UMOD, but just got it in a day's time. It's an online payment that you can make an online store but you just have to go and collect it now what we're trying to do is trying to put that panel back so that we can fix it to the laptop so uh, you have to now put that panel back onto the new hard disk that you have bought screw it back
plug it back and place it correctly so that you can screw it back we have put the new ssd hard disk back uh, we have plugged it in screwed it everything looks fine let's put the cover back and try to put it in So we have now put the hard disk back and now we'll have to install the Windows operating system. Uh, you can download the Windows operating system from the Windows website and you will need a key. You can buy the key also online. So let's try to install the Windows. It is from a USB that we... Okay, now we are trying to install the Windows. Click on next. You already have downloaded the OS into the USB and is getting installed from the USB. So accept the license terms and click on next. Click on custom install allocate the spaces so now we are going to make two partitions um, allocate each 61,440 MB that is 60 GB that's around 60 GBs click on apply allocates the partition just check in where you want to install the windows select partition. and then select the partition and start copying the file so it's getting ready to install now Okay, so we are almost done by installation. This is just the configuration part. Uh, select your region, country. So we are in Australia. So go for Australia. Yes. Keyboard. So I use US. Additional keyboard. Skip. So let's connect to an internet. Okay, so it's done now. So you can see everything is ready now. Windows is ready. Um, the better thing is that you just go to the HP uh, support center, support site, and download the drivers and uh, install it. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Okay, so when you install Windows 10, if you have made partitions or if you have selected 60 gb so when we installed we selected only 60 gb for uh, the os drive um, 
now you see it's only 60 gb so go here go to manage and then go to disk management then you can see the rest of the you know like 51.8 gb it's actually not partition so right click and say format okay so you can actually assign the drive letters from here so just add and say d so you see new volume d has come so now if you go back to your pc you can see the rest of the thing has come now so you have now c and d drive so it is empty now let's check the performance of the laptop after installing the new ssd hard disk so you have now switched it on It's definitely a better performance than the previous one. Keep the password and it's there. So it's really fast than the previous hard disk. We'll just show you how you can open the application really fast. There it is. So everything is really fast now because we've changed to a SSD hard disk. So in case if your laptop is really slow, what you have to do is just change the hard disk to an SSD hard disk. That's all. Thanks for watching Brasima Loose. Subscribe and click the bell icon for more exciting videos. Thank you.